What's going on guys? This is Alex, the Asian truck driver. Happy Tuesday. Man, I'm feeling good today, so I'm going to give you guys a tip, okay? This is a big one right here, so listen up and watch the whole video. So, just like the title says, I'm going to show you how to basically pay off a house, you know what I'm saying, in less than two years, okay? Three years max. I mean, this is no joke, no scam. You guys are my friends, so I just want to share this with you, all right? So let's break this down in a way that everyone will understand and can believe, okay? So let's just start out with a, a magical number of $40,000 a year, all right? If you look it up, they say the average truck drivers, when they're starting out, make about thirty-five dollars to $40,000 a year, give or take. We'll just use $40,000 a year. All right, let's break this down how you can actually basically pay off a house, you know, have no house payments, you know what I'm saying? And, and this is how you're going to do it, okay? So $40,000 a year, what's going to happen is you're not actually getting $40,000 a year, all right? That's not what you're getting. That's gross, okay? There's a difference between gross and net, all right? Now, I'm just teaching the young guys here, okay? So basically, $40,000 a year, America, the government, whoever you want to talk about, they take about 25% taxes. That's not including federal, and that's definitely not including your health benefits and all those things that you want to have as well that the company you're working for will take money out. So we're going to say 30% is a round number, okay? So 30% of your money is taken out of your taxes, all right? This is crazy, all right? So basically, if you're making $40,000 a year and they're taking 30%, you're left with 28000 net. All right, so what's $28,000 net a year? You're looking at around an average of $2,333.333, okay? So that's where you're at, roughly around that number, okay? So let's use some numbers here today. So I'm going to save you $10,000 a year, okay? I'm being honest, $10,000 a year. There's going to be some rules and requirements, and it's not going to be easy, but I'm going to save you $10,000 a year. So what you're going to have to do to save the $10,000 a year, and Buppy here will tell you as well, is you'd have to save $833 okay, a month, all right? And that's the simple math there. So if you're making $2,333 net, okay, you're going to minus out $833, okay, because that's your savings to save up the $10,000, all right? They say on average... You're spending about $150, $120, $150 on groceries a week. That could be a little high or that could be a little low for a single person here. All right. Uh, but we'll just say $150. So in a month, you're spending about $600. All right. And then the average, you're going to need a cell phone. I'm sorry, but you are a single person. around. They say it's a weird number, but about $71 a month is what you're spending. For some of y'all, it's going to be a lot higher than that because all you guys want to do is talk, talk, talk all day anyways. And I get it, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to take that $2,333 that you have. You're going to minus the $833 that you want to save. You're going to minus the $600 a month on groceries and food. And you're going to minus the $71 a month on your cell phone bill, okay? That's going to leave you with about... $829 a month left. Now, I know there's some bills that a lot of people are going to have to pay still. You might have some school loans. You might have a car bill, you know, 250 You might have all these other things, right? But check this out. This is a part of the requirement. Now, I'm going to put it close to my face, my beautiful face, so you can see. All right. You're going to live in your truck for two years. And you know what? Let's just say this, and I'm going to put it out, Truck of Truth Tuesday, all right, right here. When you're in your truck, okay, you got to save some money. Now, this is how they're going to force you, because when you work for a new company, they're only going to give you a couple days off. They're going to tell you you're going to get to go home a lot, but for over-the-road drivers, especially being a newbie, you got to be on the road, okay? Average, they say, truck drivers, especially new ones, 300 days on the road. So you got 65 days home. What are you going to do with that? 
You gotta go visit your mama, your daddy, your girl, your boyfriend, visit whoever the hell you wanna visit, but you gotta save that money because you're gonna live in your truck. And you know what, better yet, don't even have a car bill. Take that extra 250 a month out of it because you gotta live in your truck anyways. Use a Uber, use a Lyft. I'm not sponsored by any of these people. Use a taxi. I'm just telling you right now, that you're gonna have an extra $829 because you're gonna live in your truck and you're gonna work in your truck. And you know what? If they think we're truck drivers and we live this homeless life, then you know what? For two years, live that lifestyle. Because like I always tell you guys, you know, live the way that nobody wants to live today so that you can live the way that no one can later. All right? So you're gonna have about $829 left, give or take, okay? These are just some numbers to play with. And, you know, I, I averaged it on the high side just so that you know, okay? What? You're going to have to buy some clothes, all right? You're going to have to buy some accessories. You got to have the, the nice stuff. You know, I got to buy stuff for my dog. There's things you got to spend money on, okay? But if you're not going to have the car expense, you're not going to have the house expense, you're going to have, you know, seven dollars $800 left, okay? And that's after all the other savings to get you up to that 10000 for the year. All right. Put some damn money away. The company will match your 401k, your profit sharing. I don't care what you think, but if you suck at saving money, there's profit sharing companies, you know, and you need to look into it. I mean, I could talk a little bit about it, but you need to basically get yourself in a situation where you're thinking about your future because trucking your whole life is going to wear down your body. That's going to happen. And, you know, there's going to be a time when you might not be able to sit you know, 11 hours a day trucking, okay? So save your money, put it away because you wanna pay yourself first, all right? So back to it, all right? $40,000 a year, you gotta truck for two years because you know what? Uh, you need that for your experience anyways. So let's get back to it. How the hell are you gonna pay off a house in two years? Is it possible? All right, now here's the catch. I told you it's not a scam, but you know, here's the catch, you know, in reality, you're going to pay property taxes on houses until the day you die. So do you really ever pay off a house? You don't really. But you know what? What if I told you that you could live in your house and someone could pay it for you? And then are you really paying for your house? No. To me, I call that paid off. Okay. So maybe my words are a little tricky. But if I told you that you get to live in a house and you don't have to pay for that mortgage, for the rest of your life don't you call that pretty much paid off okay so we could talk about that later I know some people are gonna hate on me for that but so after two years of working you're gonna follow this game plan you gotta save the eight hundred and thirty three dollars okay I've showed you proved to you that you can save up this money in that way now what are you gonna do okay banks what do banks want they want two years experience right they want two years of basically of your income taxes showing you're making about 40000 or, you know, we're using that as a number. And then what are you going to do? Okay, you're going to keep exceptional credit. You know, you're 25, 26, you're coming out of the womb. Basically, you were living at home the whole time. You know, you don't have too many loans. Okay, if you do, I'm not saying that's a bad thing because I start out with some loans and stuff too. But you're going to have to pay those off quick. Use that money first instead of saving it to pay it off. And it might take a little bit more time. But basically, this is for the scenario of people that lucked out. They got to live at home or they got, you know, not too many bills. You know, they kept their credit up. All right? Or in the two years, they're building up their credit to make it awesome. Okay. So you're going to go to the bank. And what the bank's going to say is they're going to want to see two years. They're going to want to see 680, 700, score 800 would be better. And... We're just going to use the example, $40,000 with good credit. All right, you got $20,000 saved up now because $10,000 you're saving a year, right, for two years. All right, you're going to be able to buy a house. They're going to tell you, all right, 100 to, yes, 100. Oh, come on, puppy. Tell them, $120,000. Tell them. So, okay, basically, you're going to get about a loan at most. You know, just to be conservative, about hundred to hundred and twenty thousand, and you know, Buppy knows that, and he wanted to tell you that. Okay, so you're like, okay, what kind of house can I buy with that? All right, New York, you know, Manhattan, San Francisco, Miami. I mean, there's so many places that you can't afford that stuff. But I've done my research for you, Texas, Arizona, Minnesota, 
Ohio, Florida, Georgia. I mean, you know, there are Louisiana, Mississippi. There are so many places where the average house is about one hundred and twenty to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. OK, and for all my guys that live in these states already, they'll tell you. There's a McDonald's there, there's a Walmart there, there's a movie theater there. It's good living, you know what I mean? So, California, New York, all these other places that you think is all prestige, unless you're living right in the center of it, let's be real, it's not going to be worth it. So, they're going to give you a loan. Check this out. Real fact, real quick, all right? I have a real estate background. So, I'll tell you this. You could buy your first time home, you could buy in an FHA loan, 3% down, all right? 3% down of $120,000 is going to be $3,600. So for $3,600, you're going to be able to buy a home up to $120,000 with $3,600. Got that number? All right. Single dwelling home is what you're allowed to buy with this loan. Guess what that counts as? For the ones that don't know, basic real estate, single dwelling counts as a single unit, double, triple, four. So single unit as a normal house, condo, townhome, whatever, duplex, triplex, and fourplex. All right, you got the idea. You're gonna buy yourself a duplex in one of these cities like Missouri City, Texas, in a really fair area. Okay, you're gonna guess what the the loan on both sides are, and that's a duplex. Both just say do two bedroom, one bath each side. All right, the whole loan's gonna be about nine hundred and fifty bucks. Okay. You could rent out one side for about seven, maybe seven fifty. All right, let's be, uh, let's just keep that honest. All right, what you're gonna have a couple hundred dollars that you're gonna have to pay for your side to live in. So you rent one side, you live in the other side, you get to live almost for free. Or in my situation, when the market was good, I was able to rent one side and live in the other side for free. And guess what? You have to live there for a year. And after a year of living there, okay, because that's state law, as your full-time resident, you could rent out both sides. Now you could make income, you know, you could actually make extra income, money, real money. So to keep it short, or as short as I think it is, in two years, $40,000 a year job, you can basically buy a house and sell one could pay one side for you you could live in it or you could freaking if you like trucking so much rent out both sides make some income property money okay and chill that's a two-year plan right there baby and you could be 25 and at 27 you could be living the life all right please like the video please subscribe any questions hit me up peace Shutting, shutting.